Our camp is just here. When the field is ready, we'll attack with speed. The sooner the better. Herefrith will entrench deeper with every passing hour. <laughs> Alfgard. Evo. I must say, I expected a rather different outcome. Who's fetching the turf this time, eh? Don't want to freeze to death here. Throw a stone from a creek. Our warsmith has arrived. The fields are ready to fight. Chieftain Evo. We are ever so glad you came. How could I not? It was my vote that got you into this mess. The bishop caught us unaware. Claims to have taken this shire in the name of some sort of religious order. The Order of Ancients. That's the one. Do you know what he means? I may. As our hastily elected ailerman, I advise we attack quickly, before he can rally more troops. We attack now. Ready the field. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Mm. Hey, 
your sins. God, justice awaits, coward. Oh, side. Oh, oh, your good self. Stand in the boat. Oh. God curse you. <laughs> Oh, 
A challenge at last. Herafrith has gone mad! You! Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He... he's... he's in the chapel there. Hiding away. Scabless coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Valde in regno de gypsy pharaoni. Can't. Need to get on the other side. Focus, we have this! Thank <laughs> you. 
approaches the Borium, let us inject the set, and move. We bring Christ! Side your soul. Lover into your fate! Benita and the Lambers I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Herevrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. Singulus Rebus You fought as one possessed by a demon today. Herefrid may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. You're a good fit for Elden and Elfgard. Just make sure you put the Shire's needs above your own. Of course. I'd not be the man I am today without this land, these people. It's a shame Hunwald was not fit to don his father's boots. But he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. We are bonded now. Your people and mine. 
I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask... Well, could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her. And to me. Of course you may. We'd be happy to host you, ferocious swan. And your charming dame. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be. And I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranty. Let's tell her the good news. targets. Please, Radha, tell us another! Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one, this one begins. Oh. Greetings. I'm grateful to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Gotham is dead. Nameless and alone across the open sea. A master of the order hewn from the trunk of their dying tree. You are getting closer to the roots. Here. This marks fewer members of the order. Another one? You are certainly proficient. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. Now, this one, this one be... Oasis, far away, a place of mystery, wonder. Hey there, how are you? Avon, hey, have you seen Wallace? My love. The fires are out in Lincolnshire. They stand with us again. With Alfgar as their elderman. Let us hope he proves a more reliable friend.
Uba Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. Uber Ragnarsson, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. All so I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the All Father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I'm not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolf Kist. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield if the fates are kind. Message has come. Asim, have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? Any loss of, of happiness or feeling? He appears to me more thoughtful. Introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor. Among stranger people. Sigurd may be among the blessed. But who can say for certain? Indeed. Now, this one. This one begins. Eivor! Hello! Eivor, have you seen Wallace? Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there.
We can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. What do you see, Sunan? Oh no! Eivor! Over here! A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost... pleasant. <laughs> Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Hmm. <laughs> stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor! I saw him nearby! Wallace? The White Elk! The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. He's back. Our guardian is back, leading us to my brother. Harry! Petra, where are you? Eivor, I'm here. Come. Petra, hello. Mimi, guide me. Have I lost her too? Show me. Petra! Show yourself! Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. I am... I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. I it may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. We live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? Uh, 
I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Jotna! Here in Midgard! Return to Jotunheimer! Go now! Or die here! Kill you! What have you done with Petra? What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Evil! Stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra! I must know the truth! I must know where you are! Evil! I am right here! There is no need to question this carrion further. Ah... Uh, uh, yes. Sorry. Now come! I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there! His trail leads this way! Petra, I, I met your old friend. The White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited! For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah, look there! This is strange, Seda Vitra. Where are you? I'm up here! Petra! How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! No, 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 no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it, just like your Sunin, and not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. Been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no! The wolf spirits have wakened! Good day, Squid. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! <laughs> this one doesn't speak <laughs> rabbit! Petra, hurry! Tell me, little rabbit. Wallace around here. Oh, I see, I see. Thank you for your help. Oh, God. The elk has returned. There, do you see it? The white elk leading us to Wallace just as before. I... Come on, Eivor, chase the elk. No! No! Don't go! Wait, we're, we're home. 
full circle with nothing to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home, slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk, just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They are often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rapids for permission. One begins and long... Good day, Eivor! The fish are biting! Thank you for treating Hytham with respect and kindness, Eivor. My love. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north, from your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asked that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go?
I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. <laughs> 